Now, there is so much information out there on how to lose weight or get in shape. It can be very overwhelming. So I talked with a well-known trainer who simplified it all down for us. How would you like to be transformed into a stronger, slimmer, and sexier person in just 21 days? Hello. Now, if it sounds impossible, just wait. A well-known trainer says you can do it by challenging yourself to simply commit to making one change every day. Now, that doesn't sound too bad, right? Now, tell us to tell us all about the program is Jesse Pavelka. Jesse, now the program definitely does not sound like your typical exercise and and uh, meal plan kind of idea. Kind of tell me how the program is so different. Well, the book itself um, focus on, focuses on four different areas. Uh, eat, sweat, think, connect. Four things you can do every day in a small, small way that can have a massive impact. When we talk about eat, we talk about the food we put in our, in our bodies, and that's, that's about the fuel, right? The fuel that kind of fuels our exercise. Then we have sweat, which is about exercise, and exercise changes per person, and we can kind of understand diet and exercise, but then there's two other things, and that's the think and connect side of things. Um, when it comes to success, when it comes to weight loss, a lot of times when I work with people, you know, they'll have lost 50, 100 pounds, but they still see the same person in the mirror, and that's because they haven't shifted their thinking. And in the book, there are some exercises and some tips and tricks on how to adjust your thinking and shift your thinking. Um, so that's what makes it different. And then also there's a connect section. Um, there's a lot of people I've worked with, especially mothers who, you know, they raise their children, they go to work full time and they forget about themselves. So the connect side is about reconnecting with yourself, but also connecting with people that are going to help you and support you and a larger community as well. So there's a lot of different stuff going on outside of the diet and exercise world um, in this book that can help you and, and get you feeling good. Because I think that's key. A lot of people, they want to lose weight, but they don't focus on feeling good. And if I had a scale that could tell you a feel good scale basically then you would probably jump on that a lot more than you would the weight loss scale. Well, you know, you have worked with a lot of people, and like you said, you see a lot of different circumstances. So once we kind of get on board and we understand these, you know, kind of four pillars of what you were talking about, the changes, whether it's mental, physical, and everything else, uh, how do we kind of stay motivated? Because I think that really is the biggest thing for people is I can get on board with something, but staying with yeah. it or staying motivated is really hard. It is, and I think motivation is something you have to pursue and you have to create. It's not something that falls out of the sky and hits you in the head and you're healed. It's something you have to kind of pursue, and it can be in a song, it can be in a quote, it can be in a picture. Uh, you have to decide what it is for you, but you also have to understand that you can't chase the highs of motivation. You know, we want to feel amazing every day. Some days you aren't going to feel like doing it, and you have to just kind of accept that and understand that. I tell people to commit to five minutes, no matter what. If you don't feel like going to the gym or exercising, exercising, commit to five minutes of it. And if after those five minutes you don't feel like doing it, then leave. But I would say 99% of the time, if you commit to those five minutes, you're going to finish your workout and you're going to thank yourself for doing it. So um, sometimes you have to just show up. Take the body and the mind will follow. You know, what I'm really kind of hearing through everything that you're talking about is that you kind of take a real realistic approach to a, a lot of things. And, you know, like you said, don't don't think that it's some magical thing or or something's going to happen overnight. Kind of take it little steps at a time. But if there was maybe one important yeah. message that the program really you want someone to take away from that, what would be that one important thing? I would say look at all the different parts and also don't focus on numbers. Um, you can't always lose weight. Um, focus on how you feel. Um, in the book, actually, there is a way to kind of track. A, it's almost like a feel-good scale. We put it in the book. And, uh, and focus on that. At the end of the day, if you feel good, you feel strong, you feel powerful, you feel like you're doing something for yourself, the weight loss is a side effect of that. And everything else starts changing. So if you can make that the focus, then, uh, then things will continue. Well, I think that this is great. That's what, you know, they say, don't look at the numbers, put on your favorite outfit, see how you feel. I love that you say that that's a great way to track where you're going. So, Jesse, thank you so much for stopping by this morning and telling us all about the program. Thank you very much. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.